Hi, this is a quick tutorial for the um, installation and operation of the Android version of the Pet Tutor Blue app. You'll see listed here at the top, uh, put in a search in the Android store, the uh, Google Play Store, Pet Tutor Blue, B-L-U, and the app is shown at the top. If I've already have it installed on my phone, but uh, the first step would obviously be to install it on your phone. Uh, once it's installed, you see the icon that'll show up. It's the, the little tablet with paw print and the little chalk mark, the little piece of chalk there on our on our logo, uh, that will tell you that you've got the Pet Tutor Blue app installed. I open it up, and this is the home screen that comes up initially. Now I'll have to have the feeder turned on before I press this begin training, and when I do that, it'll go out and look for a feeder with Bluetooth in it and now I've got this feeder and I've previously named it Rover 1 if I want to change that I'll show you how to change that in a minute but let's connect to it you can see the gray check mark if I press that gray check mark it will uh, search for the feeder and connect to it uh, depending upon whether it's the first time or not it may take a little longer a little less to connect to the feeder and if I want to change the name that little gear above the, the check mark if I press that I can change the name so I can make this fluffy and so I've changed the name of the feeder which can be handy if you've got multiple feeders like you're in a kennel or a doggy daycare kind of operation um, once I've connected the feeder or feeders and named them all I can start training you'll also notice here there are two uh, symbols at the top next to the feeder one is the battery voltage so that's actually uh, the level it also uh, shows you the the um, the charge on the battery and that's the battery out in the feeder if it gets too low that uh, battery symbol will turn red right next to to the right of that this minus 74 that you see here that's the signal strength of the bluetooth signal coming from the feeder um, if when i press start feeding now those two symbols went away i do have the battery but the uh, the signal strength uh, went away and i just have the feed button so now if I press the feed button, I've connected it, it will fire the feeder. And so the feeder is fired one time, it'll cycle and dispense a treat. What's handy with this app, uh, you can press the feed to start a cycle or immediately press it again to stop it. So you can cancel a feed cycle before a, a treat comes out if you like. You'll also notice there's a green circle above the feed button. If I press that, uh, now I get a dialog that allows me to start into time dispense mode so I can make that yeah, the default is five seconds I could make that 10 seconds really anything I want up to 1800 seconds which is one dispense cycle every half an hour so I'll make that five the next number is the number of cycles that the feeder will run uh, before it stops this particular uh, timed interval dispense cycle so I could make that a hundred cycles if that's what my dog's typical meal is so I could start the feeder and let it run a certain number of cycles and it will stop. The bottom number then tells it how much variability to add to that five seconds. So I could add 10% to that or 50%. If I put in a number like 50% for this random percentage, it will um, dispense on an interval from five to seven and a half seconds. And it'll do that for as many times as I've specified in that middle number there. So if I make it zero, um, that means there's no variability. It will dispense exactly five seconds every time. When I'm ready, I click OK. And this is, the next pop-up is just telling me you now have initiated the, the random dispense, and it'll start. I click OK. The feeder is now running on its own, and it'll continue running that program. I can even leave the area with my smartphone. My smartphone, once I've programmed the feeder, it no longer has to stay in the vicinity those numbers are stored out in the feeder and the feeder knows how long to run uh, before it will stop now if i want to cancel this particular timed interval mode i just do that by pressing that red circle and it'll turn green and so i've stopped the timed interval dispense and i can start it back up again at any time that i like just by pressing that circle again and again i've got the little gear here so i could change the name in this location as well so I can change the name of the feeder anytime that I like 
Uh, if there were multiple feeders, you'd see other buttons and other feeders, and they each one have their own program. And down at the bottom, that button, uh, trigger all feeders is really useful when you have multiple feeders like in a kennel or, or daycare kind of operation. You can trigger them all at once or if you have multiple feeders they'll be listed here you can trigger them at one time. We'll be adding new features and capabilities to the Android app as we move along but that's what we currently have in the uh, Google Play App Store. Thank you.